Hey everybody, you are tuned in to the Free Matt Podcast. I am Matt Free Matt. The Free Matt Podcast is a libertarian round ta- table discussion on a normal day, usually joined by the one and only General Patrick Flynn. General Patrick Flynn is attending to family matters and personal life, everything else. He does want to say that he wishes you well. I have seen him uh, probably last weekend. Uh, he's doing all right. Um, hey, my purpose today, my title, this is one of the defending the undefendables. It's it's a fake a fake of a video series. Um, it was a deal, Raja, and I I was kind of struck by this guy. Uh, uh, by the stones on this this guy and you would ask me how i would defend anything if you don't know adil raja uh he is a freelance writer pakistan based um and he had it's probably been almost a week ago he tweeted uh that the world today needs a hitler and of course he ended up deleting the tweet and you would ask me how I could defend anyone who would say that the irony is I can't defend plenty of things this guy has tweeted he has tweeted about you know receiving criticism from various parties but he had also had uh, tweeted praise for Adolf Hitler in the past, and he appeared unapologetic after his firing, and they said that uh, he had, uh, let me see, glad a single tweet contributed to the hashtag Palestine cause, because selectivism works, that's my own words, and brought it to the limelight with me losing my job in the West claim of freedom of expression and human rights. Um... For the most part, he has contributed to various articles, uh, being a freelance writer. Um, And I guess it was 2014 FIFA World Cup, and he had tweeted, The only reason I am supporting Germany in the finals is Hitler was a German, and he did with those good with those Jews. Uh, Irony, they didn't put this in the article. These are my words that... Technically, Hitler was an Austrian. You know, his family's from Austria. That's, that's like calling uh, Jordan Peterson uh, uh, saying that he's done real good with the Kardashians when Jordan Peterson's Canadian. So, or at least last time I checked, he was. Because I might be like, I might be like Adil Raja and completely screw up. Please, please laugh. Of course, he ends up, you know, he ends up tweeting about, uh, you know, Israel, Israel, Hamas conflict. But you want to ask me how, uh, what little piece I could defend about what he had said? All right, the words that he had said, and these are his quote: "The world today needs a Hitler." I know that he said that out of as a personal uh he has issues with jews let's just say that that's the it's he's tiptoed around that i don't think he's tiptoed around anything but i want you to look at the phrase the world today needs a hitler it's the irony is we need a common enemy It, it was common very pieces of the world when they have a common enemy or a common goal enemies or goals often defeating an enemy is a goal if he would have completely not talked about anything about destroying jews or tongue-in-cheek type comments pro-palestinian and he said the world today needs a common a, a common enemy i could believe that 
I don't know where you would find a common enemy, but we don't seem to, we seem to be really ignorant of an opportunity to find one. And I know that's a roundabout, and this is watering down a really disgusting person, or disgusting words. He might be a decent person, but he hasn't shown it. He hasn't shown any growth, and to be pro-Palestinian, you could say we could bring these parties together if they had a common enemy. And maybe he should have he should have looked at that. And yes, it's a stretch to think that two fairly decent uh, uh, enemies, people that don't like... Uh, how about this? They made their business not, not getting along. They're well known for it. Maybe, maybe that's uh, something you could look at. That's maybe the world needs another common enemy, and maybe he should have thought of that. Maybe he could find other than slacktivism and being mouthy. He's teaching us. Hey, maybe we should get real solutions and not just be slacktivist. He should be teaching us a lesson and not how to tweet. Uh, maybe he should teach us how to shut our mouths because he's not doing it. Lead by a counterexample. And maybe maybe that's what you can get out of this, a counterexample. Atiyah Raja, yeah, that's a counterexample. You can learn something from this guy and uh, what not to do. And I don't know what, you know, we say let's hire the, hire the, let's hire the people that, that have, uh, lost their jobs because of the mouthiness and, uh, the, the wokeness, you know, and I don't know where I would, what kind of rehab program I could have for this, but I'm not a Nazi. I no longer have a Confederate flag on my <laughs> arm, but. Maybe we need common enemies to bring us together. Maybe we should end uh, typhoid or a solution for tuberculosis because, to be honest with you, tuberculosis is worse than COVID-19, but nobody heard me say that. Anyway, folks, think of this. We easily could, easily, I could defend the undefendable. I said, Adil Raja, you could, you could make a counterexample out of him. He could be your, he could be your program stooge. He could be the guy who works for you and everybody, you could bring everybody together to, he could be your counterexample. So think of that way. That's defending the undefendable. It's, I'm not saying I'm going to rehab this guy, but. If y'all do, whatever. Uh, what do you call that? Hit the like, like, hit the notifications. Feel free to subscribe. It's over there somewhere. If you feel like pointing at your crotch, you can go and find um, Twitter, Gab, Parlay. Uh, what do you guys call that? Uh, my hate mail. Email address, hate email. Uh, free Matt podcast at gmail.com. I wanted to thank you for stopping by. Please take care of yourselves.